say welding and you immediately think iron, steel, metal on metal. But today you can weld just about anything, including plastic. Plastic toys, plastic packaging, and lots of household items are welded together by a process known as friction welding. Friction welding comes in many forms, yet all work essentially the same. They generate heat through mechanical action, like the high-speed rubbing of two sticks together. With plastics, the best friction welds are made through the power of sound. It's called ultrasonics. Ultrasonics utilizes the high-intensity acoustic energy that occurs in frequencies beyond human hearing. The sound waves cause the plastic pieces to literally vibrate against one another at high intensities. At that interface, heat is generated, and the two pieces fuse together. It happens so fast that the naked eye can't see it. People don't realize the amount of power that is available in sound waves if the sound waves are focused properly. And these materials are vibrating, in many cases, 20,000 times per second, 40,000 times per second. That frictional heat is so intense that the plastic welds within a fraction of a second. In 1964, Robert Soloff received the first ever patent for ultrasonic plastic welding. Today, his company, Sonics and Materials, builds the technology that welds everything from toothpaste tubes to coffee makers to simple toys. At their headquarters in Newtown, Connecticut, ultrasonic welding machines are manufactured to precise specifications, or else the welds wouldn't be perfect. There are four main parts in an ultrasonic welder, a power supply, and three components known as the ultrasonic stack. This is the ultrasonic stack for the ultrasonic welding press, which is comprised of the ultrasonic converter, the booster, and the ultrasonic horn. The power supply takes standard 60 hertz power and pumps it up to 20,000 hertz of acoustic energy. This acoustic energy causes coin-sized ceramic disks within the converter to physically expand and contract, creating 20,000 mechanical vibrations per second. These vibrations are then focused to the plastic parts, first through the booster, then through the horn, which delivers the vibrations directly onto the plastic parts to be welded. Although sparks don't fly during ultrasonic welding, it still gets the job done. This happens to be a two-piece uh, whistle. So we take the, the two pieces of plastic, we put them in a lower fixture. The fixture is made to the application, to the piece of plastic. And then we have a very basic flat-faced ultrasonic horn because the part is flat. There's no contours to the part. So that quickly, we just welded the two pieces of plastic together in 0.24 seconds. What I'm gonna do is take a screwdriver and break the plastic apart at the weld area. And in turn, this will show the molten white plastic where it bonded to the red plastic. And thank Ultrasonics for the hermetic seal on clear plastic packaging. You know, the plastic you can never quite get open. We have these PVC clamshells that are tamper-proof clamshells so that the product can't be easily removed from it or put in a pocket. Uh, ultrasonics is commonly used to seal these clamshells. And now we have ultrasonically welded the edge of the clamshell. While ultrasonics occurs in the wink of an eye, Another form of friction welding will keep your head spinning. Spin welding is rotary friction under pressure, which generates heat in the joint area to melt the plastic and fuse the parts together. A typical insulated coffee mug is spin welded from two parts. A suction device grabs hold of the inner shell and rotates as it descends into the outer shell. The collision of the stationary and rotating pieces generates heat, causing the plastics to soften. When a braking system stops the rotation, 
the softened plastic seams of the two shells fuse as they cool. The result? A perfect hermetic seal. So from ordinary household items to structures of extraordinary heights and depths, welding plays a crucial role in everyday life by simply joining the world together.